Shalom, I'd like to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing the truth and faith and the sincerity, who are of the hopeful elect. And Shalom to all those that believe in Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, and support this, this truth. I want to go into a couple of scriptures that was uh, on my spirit as I was looking for I was actually looking up some words uh, dealing with another topic, and it had brought me to to this lesson through the through the spirit, and uh, it's it's basically dealing with you know this kingdom, this present kingdom that we're living in, America, which according to the Bible is Babylon the Great, as well as other uh, code names. This kingdom. Is going down, man. And based upon the prophecies, that's how we know that what we know as America is, is, is falling. And we're waiting on the total destruction of this place. And we're looking for a, a new kingdom or new rulership so you can understand. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures and, and Lord willing... This is a, a edifying, this edifying lesson. So this is Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter three, verse one. It reads, "To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the under the heaven." Verse two, a time to be born, and a time to die. So America, time to be born really goes back to you know the late 13 to mid 1400s uh the renaissance period and the word renaissance is you know us brothers in the know we know it means rebirth so the roman empire was is what was being rebirth you know and that's what we have today is the modern day or the reincarnated Roman Empire, you know, and uh, the scriptures say a is a time to be born. So America had its time to be born. It says and a time to die. Now America is in the time where it's it's dying, because that's how the Most High set it up, and that's what's written in, in the scriptures. You know. It reads on, it says, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. So America was, so to, if if you will, America was planted and it grew into this, uh, this highly advanced technological, technological kingdom, you know, and the most high, you know, of course, it all, all the credit goes to Yahweh. You know, to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, to Yahweh, um, why Yahweh Shai? And um, it's written in the Bible. America is written in the Bible to be this this great kingdom, and it, it was going to be great in uh, wickedness. You know, great in uh great in uh wickedness, but. At the same time, highly, highly advanced. You know, we have now we have uh, you have handheld computers, these smartphones and iPhones and iPads and all this stuff is nothing is is basically handheld computers, man. Nanotechnology exists that the nuclear, the thermonuclear missile. And, and it's had its time. The Most High is going to use that, the thermonuclear missiles to kill or to pluck up what we know as, as America. You know? America's had its run, man. It's, it's, it's too wicked. And the only kingdom that's going to stand forever is the, the kingdom of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, the kingdom of Israel. So I got I got one more scripture I want to bring out real quick because um, you know the changing of rulers the changing of rulership is is 
is happening. You know? That's why you see the men of the Lord out on the highways and byways proclaiming a kingdom to come, preaching the gospel. And the ruling class of that kingdom very well may be the men that you see out on the highways and byways teaching, in particular, the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders, you know, on down. You know, I believe through the Spirit, those are the men that the most I set up and that's they they gonna be part and they gonna be part and Lord willing, you know, myself and other brothers that are sincere about this word are gonna be part of that ruling that ruling body, that government body of a new kingdom, an everlasting kingdom. So this is Daniel chapter two verse twenty. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High, which is Yahweh, forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. And this is the verse, I'm sorry, that I want to focus on. And he, and he changes the times and the seasons. That's the Most High. He does, he does the changing of times and season and the, and the times are about to change man things are going to go back to its proper order you know the most high is going to put everything on this planet earth back in this in its proper order uh, reading on it says he removeth kings and setteth up kings so all the rulers that we ever had on the planet earth when you read in the scriptures it's many kingdoms that came into power. The Most High set them up. They didn't. They didn't set themselves up to rule. The Most High set them up. You know. Um, and the scriptures say, and He removed with kings. And when they went down, the Most High brought a different army against a kingdom, and took that kingdom down and set up another kingdom. And now it's America's turn. The Most High always takes a, removes the kingdom by way of war. There hadn't been a kingdom that came into power, you know, and they didn't go to, they didn't have a, a, a war that took place. So a war is going to take place that's going to take America out of its rulership, you know, a third world's war. You could, you also read in the book of Revelation. 12 and it talks about a war in heaven where our lord and savior and the angels are going to exterminate or are going to not exterminate but they're going to kick the the so-called white man's ass which is esau according to the bible so esau with all his different branches of his military his air force his his navy and, uh, you know, they're going to try to fight against the Most High. And also the other so-called governments of the, of the earth, you know, they're going to stop in the, in, in the midst of a heated battle, a world war. So this, uh, we have world war and, and they're going to fight, fight, uh, they ain't just try to fight against the Most High and by way of fighting his son and the, and the angels. And the scriptures conclude that they will be destroyed. The scriptures conclude that they will be destroyed. You know? So that's the that's just, you know, what we're looking for, man. We're looking for this kingdom to be removed. And it's and it's in the process. It's already decaying. It's broken down. It, it, the, the moral fabric of this place is is completely gone. There's really nothing left for for America but destruction. You know? I'll finish uh finish this verse. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. And that's that's pretty much it. I ran across Daniel chapter two, verse twenty-one. You know, and it it lifted up my spirit because I know that, you know, the most high is in power and that uh, he's about to remove Esau, 
the so-called white man out of out of his power seat and set up the nation of Israel, you know, starting with his elect to rule the planet Earth, you know, and really, really starting with his son, Yahweh to rule the, uh, the planet Earth. Uh, well, let's go ahead. I'm going to bring out the 44th, 44th verse, and I'm going to end it on this scripture right here. So this is Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. And in the day and in the days of these kings shall the most high uh, of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. That's talking about the kingdom of Israel, which is really the kingdom of Yahweh well, why Yahweh Shai. Um but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand and it shall stand forever. Right. Just like I just like I mentioned about Revelation 12, Revelation 19 goes into it. Uh, there's other scriptures that goes into how the Most High is going to put down all these so-called kings around the earth, these ruling bodies around the earth. And he going through, you know, through a. Uh, or by using his son, who the world ignorantly knows as Jesus Christ. He's coming back for war to destroy these other nations and put them into captivity and set up this everlasting kingdom, the kingdom of Israel. You know, and if you read, if you read Daniel, the second chapter, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar interpreted the, the dream that, I'm sorry, Daniel interpreted the dream that Nebuchadnezzar was having and it was the the it, the image you know it goes into the image there was a um, let me see if I can get it real quick right right here in the 32nd verse so it read about the image and the image starts with the Bab the Babylonian taking down the Assyrian Empire all the way to the Roman Empire and which goes into the to America. Eventually the, the last as of the Apostle Tahar termed a uh, term a term called the last leg of uh, the Roman Empire. You know, where it talks about the ten toes the ten toes that you know part Part uh, part uh, partly strong and partly uh, weak. So it goes in from the time of the Babel, the Assyrian and Babylonian kingdom, all the way, really to this present day Roman Empire, which is America, or you can say NATO, which America is a part of NATO, and the, and the EU, the European Union. You know. And it tells you that this last kingdom, which is our Lord and Savior's kingdom, is going to stand forever, man. You know, that's what we're looking for. And then that's the time that we're in. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Once again, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And, uh,. You know, Shalom to all you brothers out there that are doing the work in truth and sincerity who are of the hopeful elect. Hey, Shalom.